Here's the video of Pyronman's assembly process. All you need to do is to follow the steps to assemble and test. Now, open the box and take out all the components inside. Include structural parts, main board and other accessories. Some structural parts are assembled together for ease of transportation. Here, we disassemble them first and name these structural components as follows. Firstly, connect the OLED screen. You will need a screwdriver to pull up the black tab on the OLED connector. Insert the FPC cable and then use your fingers to push the black tab down. Now to connect the GPIO bridge. Similarly, lift the black tab on the connector. Insert the FFC cable and press down several times to fasten. Use the same way to connect the other end of the FFC cable to the main board. Finally, stick a black tape to prevent popping up. Now connect the SD card bridge. As before, pull out the connector, insert the FFC cable and press it down to secure it. Lastly, connect the FFC cable to the main board. Plug in the wires of the RGB strip in order. Now to secure the power button. Remove the thin nut from the power button. And then allow the power button wire to pass over the button plate. Put the thin nut back on and use it to secure the power button to the button plate. Lastly, the four wires should be plugged in in order. And the two green wires can be connected at will. On the main board, screw in for long nylon standoffs with them to 0.5 by 25 plus 6 at the top and into 0.5 by 18 at the bottom. before mounting the Raspberry Pi with them to 0.5 by 7 plus 6 standoff. These cables need to be organized first. Now insert the SD card bridge into the card slot of the Raspberry Pi. Then plug in the GPIO bridge. Let's test if the components are assembled correctly. First you need to install the Raspberry Pi OS to the SD card. Open the software page on the Raspberry Pi website and download the Raspberry Pi imager. Select the recommended system in the Choose OS bar. Then select the SD card you have inserted. It is recommended that you set up your username, password, wireless LAN and locale in advance here. After saving, click the right button to install. Insert the SD card with the system installed into the slot on the main board. Prepare a display and connect it to the Raspberry Pi's HDMI port. After plugging in 5 volts a 3 a power supply, press the power button to turn on the Pyronma. Once the Raspberry Pi desktop appears, it means the Raspberry Pi has booted properly. Now let's do some software configuration to make all the modules work. Open our online tutorial, pyronma.rtft.io and go to the set up the Pyronman page. Now let's follow the instructions on this page. Open a terminal and copy this nodo command to open the configure.txt file. Then copy these two lines to the end of the file. Press Ctrl X. Y and enter to save and exit. To take effect, reboot the Raspberry Pi. Now copy these for commands to install the Pyron module and wait for the installation to complete. Then you will see the Raspberry Pi related information on the OLED screen. The RGB strip and the LEDs on the main board are lit up in blue. The fan is set in software to rotate above 50 degrees Celsius. So here we plug it directly into the 5 volts and GND pins on the Raspberry Pi to test it. Now continue to assemble Pyronma.
take out the tower cooler and attach a structural part to it with the M to 0.5 by 6 screw. Secure another structural part to it as well. Then stick the thermal pads in the shape. Finally, attach the assembled tower cooler to the Raspberry Pi with them to 0.5 by 6 screws. Now remove the protective film from the acrylic plate with the HDMI slot. Pass the OLED screen through the slot of the button plate. And then place the acrylic plate in the correct direction. Use M to 0.5 by 6 screws to secure. Pay attention to screw in the middle to screws first. Now is the time to remove the film from the old screen and stick it to the button plate. Also remove the film from the RGB strip and attach it to the upper plate. Now put the upper plate on. Note that the label side and the power button are on the same side. Finally, secure it with them to 0.5 by 6 screws. Place the port plate on and secure it with them to 0.5 by 6 screws. Take out the other acrylic plate and we need to mount the fan to the back side. Place the fan with the label of ice cube facing outward. Put it into 0.5 nut in the fan hole and press it with one finger. Then turn the plate over to screw in the into 0.5 by 12 screw. Screw in the other three sets of screws in the same way. If one group cannot be tightened, you can turn the nut over and put it back. Now plug the fan cables into the main board in order. After that, Screw in the middle to screws first, and then secure the USB plate with the M to 0.5 by 6 screws. Now put the bottom plate on, taking care that the notch side is facing the USB port side. Finally, secure it with M to 0.5 by 6 screws. Then stick a the foam pad on the bottom to prevent slippage. After covering the OLED screen with protective acrylic, Pyronmun then completes the assembly. Now look at the effect after powering up. If you have a 40-pin Rivian cable, you can insert it into the side slot. If you have an M-Point to Soto SSD, you can assemble it as shown below. Take off the bottom plate.
remove the SSD screw. And insert the M point to SSD before securing it. Finally, secure the bottom plate again. You will need to plug in the USB bridge to power the SSD. If you have a camera module, the assembly tutorial is as follows. The first thing is to take off the acrylic plate. Pass the FFC cable through the slot on the side. After that, use a screwdriver to pull up the tab of camera connector. Insert the FFC cable and then press it back. Use 3M adhesive with thickness to adhere the camera module to the plate. Finally, secure the acrylic plate back. The video is over. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe us to get the latest videos. Or visit www.sunfounder.com to see more information about the product.